We start with four, but in the end there can be only one. Kia ora, call Chris Aho, and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and ends up at this, the Brain Buster. Tyler Nathan Wong, back at it again. Our champ will get the chance to earn big bucks in amygdala, but first, you gotta get through this, the Brain Buster. Kia ora, Tyler, and don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Hello my haere mai, welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet our players. First up today, it's music superstar, Eliza. Welcome to Brain Busters, Eliza. Hi. Talk to me about all things music. Oh, well, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy playing it. I, I've kind of, just kind of like, learned it over the years and my dad plays a lot of it and I've just had him playing it and he taught me a bit about it, so that was real cool. So what kind of instruments have you learned, Eliza? Um, well, I play guitar, drums, a bit of piano and a bit of ukulele. Woo! Nice work, Eliza. A great skill to learn, so good on you for doing that. And thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. James also joins us. Welcome to Brain Busters, James. Thank you. Now, I know you're a bit of a movie buff. What does he love about watching movies? Uh, like, I, I enjoy the way you can, like, escape from, like, the real world. You can go to places that are just, like, crazy that would never exist in real life. Totally. Gonna be fast on those buzzers as soon as you hear it? Yep. Excellent. Good work, James. Sylvia joins us today. Welcome, Sylvia. How are you feeling about playing Rainbusters? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit nervous. But excited? Yeah, definitely. That's good to know. Good to hear. Now, you must not be a stranger to doing, you know, nervous, crazy things, though, because you do aerial silks. Yeah. Which I think is way more nerve-wracking than being on Brain Busters. Could you explain to us a bit about what aerial silks is? Well, it's kind of like circus skills, like the silks and ribbons that you see, like, um, hanging down from, like, the roof. So this is the one where you can, like, you get, like, all, all tangled up, way high up, and then you do, like, the crazy, like, drops down and stuff, right? Yeah. That is crazy stuff. Well, if you can do that, Sylvia, I definitely think you can handle the pressure of Brain Busters. So best of luck to you, my friend. And we also have Tom joining us on the show. Right into your sport, Tom, what do you play? Uh, I play quite a few sports, but my main sports are probably karate, cricket, golf and rugby. Good choices. I like just about all of those ones as well, Tom. Now, what is a sporting moment that you're most proud of in your illustrious career so far? Uh, probably not one in particular, but mainly when the team plays well, it's just a good feeling. A great team player, I like it. But on your own today, Tom, can you handle the pressure? Hope so. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now, in fact, as we take on the first challenge. It is Mega Memory. 90 seconds on the clock for Mega Memory. 10 points for every correct answer, so a whole lot of time to score a whole lot of points. Let's get into it. Good luck, your time starts now. In karate, what colour is the highest ranking belt? Eliza. Black. What is measured with a thermometer? Tom. Temperature. Was Stuart Island named after Stuart Little? James. False. True or false, male seahorses can get pregnant? Sylvia. True. In the Lego movie, who was Wildstyle's superhero boyfriend? Sylvia. Batman. In Greek mythology, who is the king of the gods? James. Zeus. True or false, Rome is a country? Tom. True. It is false. What colour is the circle in the middle of the Japanese flag? James. Red. What member of the Avengers was exposed to gamma radiation? James. Bruce Banner. Correct. Also known as the Hulk. Is a pea waka waka a small bird or a giant monster? Eliza. Small bird. What sport do the New Zealand Black Sticks play? Tom. Hockey. What type of creature was Chewbacca in Star Wars? James. A hockey. True or false, the capital of South Korea is Seoul. Tom. True. Which continent is home to countries such as Egypt, Kenya and South Africa? James. Uh, 
Asia. Africa. True or false, the Pacific Ring of Fire is a chain of hot chili shops. Eliza. False. <laughs> it is false. And that is correct. I'd be a bit concerned if it was. Well done, everybody. A great start to Brain Busters today. Let's have a look at the scores after Mega Memory. James has 40 points. Eliza is on 30 points. Sylvia has 20 points. And Tom also has 20 points. So now we move into our specialist subject round. And seeing that Sylvia and Tom both share the same score, we'll go from left to right, meaning Sylvia, you get to go first. So what are you going to play? Sequencer. Kia ora, Sylvia. Let's play Sequencer. Sylvia, please step forward. Sylvia, welcome up to the front. Time to take on your specialist subject round. Chosen sequencer today. Why sequencer? I don't know, it just looks like something that I would enjoy doing. Know your kind of history, general knowledge, that sort of thing? I think so. All right, well, you know what you gotta do? Get the sequence right. 20 points is coming your way. Do it five times. You got 100 points, just like that. So let's get to it. Sylvia, good luck. Here is your first sequence. Germany. Liechtenstein, USA. Arrange these countries by total land area from smallest to largest. Testing your geography to start things off. And you've stepped up to the wheel nicely. Well done. Stephen King. King Henry V, King Tutankhamun. Arrange these kings by date of birth from earliest to most recent. It's the right order. Monster High, Barbie, Bratz. In which order were these dolls first released? <phone rings> Correct. On a good roll here, Sylvia. Let's keep it up. Mandarin, French, Spanish. Place these languages in order from most spoken to least spoken worldwide. Mandarin is the most widely spoken language, then it's Spanish and then French. And finally, Fakamutunga. Micronesia, Mexico, Madagascar. Place these countries in the order you would find them in a dictionary. And that is correct. A nice way to finish off the round as well. Just the one wrong, Sylvia. A really impressive start here. So thank you so much for taking on Sequencer. Sylvia takes the lead with 100 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject round today will be Tom. So Tom, what are you playing? Identifier. Kia ora, Tom. Let's play Identifier. Tom, no mai, hore mai. So Tom mentioned earlier that you're a team player. So what team are you a part of with your cricket? Uh, Marist Teawood, Prims. Shout out to them. So how's the season been going? Uh, pretty good. Um, we've won three and lost one. Good effort. So let's get into it. You ready? Yep. Good luck, Tom. Here we go. O M W. Arrange these letters to form the abbreviation for the World Meteorological Organization. Correct. 
Identify three things you might find in a New Zealand cave. Had glowworms, had stalagmites, but also needed stalactites. Identify three substances containing carbon. Tough stuff. Head marble right, but of course also needed diamond and coal. Finally, Tom, identify three extreme weather events. Nice way to finish things off, Tom, there. Couple of tricky ones and identify it, but still a great effort. So well done, and thanks for taking on the challenge. Tom is now in second place with 60 points. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. FRKNA, Eliza and James will take on their specialist subjects, but of course, all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. One wrong step on the Brain Buster and it could be all over for one of our players. Let's hope they're up for the Weddle. Next up to take on the Weddle today will be Eliza. So Eliza, what are you going to play? Rio Langatira. Awesome work, Eliza. Let's play the Orangatira. Eliza, please step forward. <laughs> that nervous <sighs> sigh. Yeah. Ready to take on the widow, Eliza. So you've chosen the Orangatira. What made you pick that subject? Oh, I've just kind of heard it at home. Like my dad, he learnt it, so it's just kind of I picked it up while listening. Nice, good work, Eliza. All right, well, let's test that knowledge right now then. 20 points for each real focus question. So good luck, here we go. If something is nui, is it big or small? Oh, big. Is Taupo in the North or South Island? North Island. Kapoi. If I ask how much something costs, would I say e hia te utu or he pai ne? He ia te utu. Kia ora, Eliza. Nice work. Hokuatuai are Whitaker's i te aha. How much is Whitaker's chocolate? <laughs> Incorrect. You had part of the answer as the question, though. So. Translated, it was, what do Whitakers sell? Oh. Chocolate, or no in, in te reo, te akarete. Finally, for reo rangatira, please spell koha. K-O-H-A. Is correct. Eliza, poke, that is a great effort. Well done, really good points for reo rangatira. So thank you so much taking on the Weddle. Thank you. Eliza grabs onto the lead with 110 points. And we have just one more player remaining to take on their specialist subject round. That player is James. So James, what have you chosen? Spellbinder. Kia ora, James. Let's play Spellbinder. James, no mai hore mai. Lucky last, taking on your specialist subject round, James. So how's it been feeling standing there at the back as you've seen everyone else take on their subjects? Has it made you more nervous or more confident? Nerve wracking. Nerve wracking? Just patiently waiting. You're just like, yeah. when is it gonna be my turn? I just wanna get through it. And exactly, <laughs> like the, the tension just continues to build with the longer you have to wait for this sort of thing. It does. And now you're up the front, ready to spell some words. Yeah. Are you backing yourself, James? I don't know. We're gonna find out right now. Good luck, first word coming your way. Yep. 
draft. D R A F T. That will settle some of those nerves. Nice work, James. Your next word, bemused. B E M U S E D. Correct. Continent. C O N T I N T E N T. A little bit too much, sorry, James. C O N T I N E N T. Ah. Please spell squabble. C, sorry, S Q U A B B L E. Spot on. Well done, James. And your final word is kingdom. K I N G D O M. Also correct. Just the one wrong there, James. <laughs> Feel the weight lift off your shoulders? Yeah. A really good round, especially to finish off our specialist subjects. So, James, a great effort. Thank you for taking on Spellbinder. Yep. James has 120 points, Eliza has 110 points, Sylvia has 100 points, and Tom has 60 points. So, unfortunately, we need to eliminate our first player today on Brain Busters, and I'm sorry to say that, Tom, it is you, but you take home a $50 bank account. What are you going to spend the money on? Uh, probably some cricket or golf gear. Brilliant stuff, Tom. Well, enjoy both sports. Best of luck, and thank you for taking on Brain Busters today. And a big congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. It's been an incredible show so far, and I can't wait to see who's going to take on the ultimate obstacle course. Here, Nakwe, Tyler. Now, before we head to the Brain Buster, we must take on our Brain Teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds, and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Today, those options are Blueprinter and Equalizer. So, Eliza, James, and Sylvia, please vote for which one you would like to play now. Our votes have been cast, so let's take a look at what Eliza has selected first. It is Blueprinter. James would like to play Equalizer. So it comes down to Sylvia's decision, which is Blueprinter. Thank you for your votes. Let's play Blueprinter. Let's get straight into Blueprinter. 30 seconds to have a look at what the Blueprinter is. Then when you see what the highlighted option is, please buzz in and let me know. You get it right, you've got 30 points. Buzz in and get it wrong though, you lose 30 points. And with just 20 points separating our players, it is very much anybody's game. So let's get into it. Good luck, here is your Blueprinter. Electric vehicle, your time starts now. Zoom into the future with electric vehicles, where vrooms go green. Under the hood, it's a cool blend of tech magic like the HV battery, the heart that pulses power to the wheels, and the inverter, the brain that talks electric. Plug into a socket and voila, you're juicing up for the next ride. 10 seconds left. That's time. Please now buzz in when you think you know what the highlighted option is. Good luck. Here comes your first one now. Eliza. Um, electric fan. It is the electric fan. Eliza jumps into the lead. Here comes your second option now. Sylvia. Inverter. Now Sylvia jumps out of that elimination spot with just one to go. Here it is. James. HV battery. Could it be the HV battery? It can indeed. James reclaims the lead and that is also it for the brain teaser. Well played by everyone there. Let's take a look at the final leaderboard. 
James has 150 points. Eliza is on 140 points. Then we have Sylvia on 130 points. So very, very close today between our remaining three. And unfortunately, we've got to eliminate someone, which doesn't mean Sylvia, you have to go. But a $75 bank account is yours. What are you going to do with the money? Probably gonna um, save, use it to save up for an iPhone. I like your style, Sylvia. Well, enjoy it. You definitely deserve it with that performance. So well done. Thank you for playing Brain Busters today. And congratulations to Eliza and James. For them, it's now on to the Brain Buster. Our final two are set and ready to take on the ultimate obstacle course. You ready, team? Toru, Rua, Tahi, Karafiwa! We've got James taking on musician Eliza. There can only be one champion. Who's it gonna be? Both Kaitakaro down the neurotransmitter and onto the molecule step for Eliza. Oh no, James, you forgot the molecule steps, buddy. Eliza remembering her code and entering the Corpus Colossum on that one sided approach while James goes back across the molecule steps and his second round to the Corpus Colossum. Both Kaitakaro are now at the hippocampus entering their codes. James is caught up and. Boom! Down goes James's wall. It looks like he's now taking the lead from Eliza as he enters the web tunnel. And bam! Down goes Eliza's wall. She's now making her way up the frontal lobe as James extends his lead towards the DNA ladder across the frontal lobe. Eliza making her way through the web tunnel as James is at the DNA ladder working on the switches. Can he get that green light? And he does! Well done, James! Make your way across the last obstacle, the basal ganglia. There we go, buddy. What a comeback. Congratulations, James. You're our Brain Buster champion. Awesome work, Liza. One more flick of the switch here. There we go. There's your green light. Great racing today, Eliza. You've got the last obstacle, the basal ganglia. There we go. One more over and under. Wow, that was styly. Great racing, you two. And that is our race completed. Well done, Eliza. Well done, James. Eliza, let's quickly have a chat to you. That race had a little bit of everything. It kind of went both ways. Talk me through what, what happened with the code. I like, I totally forgot to look at the code. So I had to go around again. Then I got it, but I was just a bit too late there. Hey, it, it can happen, but it didn't stop you from completing the obstacle course. You didn't give up. You kept on going through plus second place, which does mean a $100 bank account. So Eliza, what are you going to do with the money? Um, probably save it, but if like spend it straight away, probably go to like Mecca or something with it. Fair enough. Both great options, whatever you choose, it's completely yours now. So congratulations again, Eliza, and thank you for playing Brain Busters. Thank you for having me. James, congratulations. You are officially a Brain Buster champion. Not without its difficulties for you either. What happened at the start of your race? Oh yeah, I forgot the, um, the molecule steps. But like Eliza, didn't let it phase you. You went through the rest of the obstacle course and have completed it in style as well. Did you like it? What did you think of it? I think it's definitely very challenging, very fun. I'd do it again, 10 out of 10. Excellent to hear. Well, James, there's one thing left to do and it's taking on Amygdala. James, welcome to Amygdala. Congratulations, a Brain Buster champion. You've made it to the final round. And now you're playing for $290. <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling, James? Incredibly nervous. This is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Have you already got a whole bunch of ideas of what you could potentially be, to be doing honest, with it? To be honest, yeah. Should we get into Amygdala? Yeah. <laughs> then let's do it. James, good luck. It's time to play Amygdala. True or false, the logo of US tech giant Apple features an apple with a bite taken out of it. True. Nice start. Our fingernails are made of keratin. What is human hair made of? Also keratin. Confident? Yes. Locked in? Yes. Well done. NZSL is the abbreviation for New Zealand Sign What? Language. Correct. Angkor Wat, a temple in Cambodia, features on the flag 
of which country? Cambodia. Makes sense and it's correct. How many bathrooms are there in the White House? Three, 35, or 335? 35. Correct. Which famous activist and politician was released from a Cape Town prison in 1990? Any names popping into your head at all? No, I'm thinking, of, I can remember the names of a lot of politicians, but none that I can remember being released from prison. At least none that were activists. Can pass, can guess if you want. Doesn't matter whether you pass or guess, it's the same result. Pass. Confirming you want to pass? Yes. All right. The correct answer, Nelson Mandela. Heard the name? Yes. Makes sense now? To be honest, no, I didn't even know he'd been imprisoned and such. I, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to look into that one. Yeah, I, I would highly recommend you do. Uh, incredible man, absolutely incredible. All right, next question. Which came first, Back to the Future or Back to the Future Part 2? Back to the Future. Is that the same, because like Back to the Future, so in the future is Part 2 of Back to the Future, so you would put it back, which means it's at the front. Back to the Future Part 2. Confusing, but I'm sticking with my current answer. You're going to stick with it though? Yes. Final answer? Yes. And great Scott, he's got it right. Well done, James. What is the name of the scientific sorting system for the elements that was created by chemist Dmitry Mendeleev? The periodic table. Why the periodic table, James? It's the only thing I really know about, like, organising chemicals. I suppose you could call it more of a catalogue than, than an organiser thing, but I don't know, it just feels right. Think you should lock it in then? Yes. Periodic table is locked in. It is correct, well done. What does the Z in ANZ Bank stand for? Zealand, as in New Zealand. I'm feeling it's making sense. A N Z Zealand. Locking it in? Yeah. It's locked in. You got it right, James. And finally. Are you ready, James? Yes. Last question. Yes. In the tongue twister, six sleek swans swam swiftly southwards. In which direction were the swans swimming? Southwards. Final answer? Yes. Definitely southwards? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. It's locked in, James. And you're absolutely right. Well done, James. Look at the board, my friend. $261. That is now all yours. A really good effort. A whole bunch of answers and a whole lot correct means a whole lot of money. What are you going to do with it, James? I'm probably going to use it to expand my Lego collection even further. Yeah, if I have any left over, more DVDs and such, but yeah, this is, this is crazy. Well, you deserve it, James. Take it all in. Just quickly, what have you enjoyed about being here on Brain Busters? Well, a lot of things. For one, yeah, it's really great getting to work on a real life TV show. This is, this is truly incredible. Um, yeah, another thing has been, has been, don't take this the wrong way, but I did get the day off school, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love that. Hey, James, you get the day off school and you get money. That's a win in my book. It's clearly a win in your book. Thank you so much. You said it's been incredible. Well, James, it's been incredible having you here on the show as well. So thank you. You're a champion of Brain Busters walking away with $261. Yeah. Feel like you're missing out on the action? You know what to do. Hop online and take the test. Tēnā koutou i te mā takimai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.